Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is comparing and ordering integers. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Here is MrMathBlog.com right here. And if you go to MrMathBlog.com, just make sure you click the one for California. So if you're watching this lesson, you're going to do California. This one right here is for uh, New York and Florida. So I've already started those guys. And I live in California. In fact, I live in Sacramento. So I started working on those. And then I found out that our district is using the California one. And I think, duh. Anyway, so it's going to go right underneath here as soon as this gets uploaded. Okay, so... Uh, here's our question. So uh, how do we compare and order integers? Okay, so uh, the Woodland Soccer League ranks its team using a number called the win-loss com combined record. A team with more wins than losses will have a positive record. So a team that has fewer wins than losses will have a negative record. So the table shows the total win-loss record for each team. Uh, at the end of the season, okay? So it looks like the Bears broke even. The Cats, they had a, uh, a positive record of, of four right here. So they have more wins and they have losses right here. So and so on right there. So a team with more wins than losses will have a positive record. And a team that has fewer wins than losses will have a negative record. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and graph uh, the win-loss record for each team on the number line. Okay, so here we go. I'll graph the first three. I'll graph zero right here. And then so there would be A, and then B would be positive four, and then C would be negative four. So there's the first three right there. And then I'll graph the next three right here. So negative six will be D, and then uh, two will be E, and then negative two will be F, and then let's do the last one also. This will be G right here. So when we plug all those in right there, and then that helps us answer some questions. So which team had the best record? And how do we know this? Okay, so the, the, as you go to the right on a number line, we said this in the last lesson, the numbers get bigger. And as you go to the left on a number line, the number gets smaller. So negatives kind of work backwards, you guys. Negative 10 is actually smaller than negative 8 because it's to the left on the number line right there, okay? All right, so which team had the best record? This team right here, which would have been the Cougars right there, okay? So it's the farthest to the right on the number line. Which team had the worst record? Well, the one that's furthest to the left. So that would be D. That would be the Tigers right there, okay? Because they are the farthest to the left. All right, so explain what the data says about the win-loss record of the teams in the league. Okay, well, the guys with the positives, they had a, a winning league, and the guys, so, so, these guys right here, these guys, the E, uh, which is the J's, the B, which is the Cats, and the G, which is the Cougars, so the, uh, the Tigers, the, uh, the I'm sorry, um, uh, I did it backwards. So the Tigers, the Cubs, and the Wolves, they lost more games than they won because they had all the negative numbers here. So the, the Tigers and the Cubs and the Wolves, they lost. And so the Jays and the Cats and the Cougars won more games than they lost, okay, because they had positive numbers. And then this A right here, the Bears, won the same number of games as they lost, so they broke even. So that's what those numbers mean right there, okay? So ordering positive and negative numbers. So when you read a horizontal number line, as long as you read it from left, to right, the numbers are in order from least to greatest, all right? So so here we go. In a golf game, uh, a lower score beats a higher score. So if you have a lower score, that's a better than a higher score. So negative scores represent scores that are below par, and par is a standard score. So here's Margaret. She recorded the following golf scores during her first week of vacation. So she got a, a positive four on Monday, which means four Four, um, four shots above par. A negative two meant she got two shots below par, and then a three, and then a negative five, and a negative one, a zero, and a negative three right there, okay? So let's graph these scores on the number line and then list the numbers in order from least to greatest, okay? So let's go ahead and graph Mondays. Mondays is that positive four, so there it is right there, okay? And then Tuesday, I'll highlight this now in pink. So Tuesday is negative two, so that'll be that one, okay? So there's Tuesday. There's Wednesday, there's Thursday, there's Friday, Saturday, finally Sunday. And then order them from least to greatest. So this is the least, this is the, this is the smallest, to this is the next smallest, the next smallest, all the way up to the biggest of four right there. So listing in order from least to greatest, there they are right there, okay? All right.
So graph the values on a number line, uh, in the table on the number line, and then list the numbers in order from least to greatest. So this is just like the last one here. Here's the table. All right, so let's do them one at a time. So, so there's positive 9 way over here. Okay, then negative 1. I'll just keep going. There's negative 1. There's negative 6. There's positive 2, negative 10, 0, 5. And finally, 8 right there. And then now they're listed, and the, these are the elevations in meters. So the elevations listed in order from the least to greatest. You start over here and then just start working. This one's the next one. And then this one's the next one, which is negative 1, 0, 2, 5, 8, and finally 9 right there. Okay, easy, huh? All right, so writing inequality. So an inequality is a statement that shows uh, that two uh, quantities are not equal. So the symbols less than and greater than are used to write inequality. So, so when it's going this way, that means is greater than. When it's going this way, it means is less than. So when it, it always points to the smaller number, okay? So we can use the number line to help us write these inequalities here. All right, so in 2010, Sacramento, California received 23 inches in annual precipitation. That's rainfall. So in 2011, the city received only 17 inches in annual precipitation. So in which year was there more precipitation? Well, that one's pretty easy, but let's go ahead and graph 23 and 17 on a number line. So there they are right there. So I made a number line starting at 15 up to 25 right there. Just make sure that they're evenly spaced. So these tick marks are evenly spaced right there. All right, so 17 is to the left, so 17 is less than 23. Okay, so, and if you want to say 23 is to the right, then 23 is greater than 17 because it's to the right. Okay, uh, or 17 is less than 23. So here's 23 is greater than 17. Here is 17 is less than 23 right there. Okay, so... Uh, we wrote two inequalities that represent that right there, okay? So here it is in words, here it is in symbols. Here's 17 is less than 23, 17 is less than 23 with symbols right there. Imagine before we had symbols, you guys. All right, so let's compare, and we're going to write uh, less than or greater than, and we're going to use the number lines. Remember, negatives kind of work backwards, you guys, and if all else fails, let's graph them on a number line. So I graphed negative 1 here, here's negative 2. Okay, the one to the left is the smaller one. So negative 2 is less than 1. So we're going to make it go this way. The pointing always goes to the smaller number. So the inequality always points to the smaller number. Okay, let's graph negative 6 and 6 on the number line. So there's negative 6 over here. Here's 6 over here. Okay, definitely this one's to the left, so this one's smaller. So we're going to have the inequality pointing towards the smaller number right there. Okay, let's graph okay, negative 7 and negative 8. Okay, here's negative 7 and negative 8. Negative 8 is smaller, so we're going to have it pointing towards the smaller number. Okay, so it goes that way. All right, my trick is, you guys, is, is Pac-Man always eats the bigger number. So the inequality always eats the bigger number. So 5 is bigger, so it goes this way. Okay, the, it opens up towards the bigger number. Remember, negatives work backwards. Negative 9 is bigger than negative 10. Okay, so the Pac-Man eats the bigger number, so it's always going towards the bigger number right there, okay? So write two inequalities to compare negative 2 and negative 18. Okay, well, you can say negative 2 is greater than negative 18, or you can say negative 18 is less than negative 2. All right, let's do the same for 39 and negative 39, okay? We can say negative 39 is less than 39, or positive 39 is greater than negative 39. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Hope you're having a great year, and be nice to your teacher. Take care.